If you want it, you gotta go get it. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. Trying to live up to the hype and create the smoke that you doing it. You ain't doing it. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. Fuck all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. You do the work now. Do the work now. And all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole nother stratosphere. He not. You got to hear what I'm telling you. If y'all going to be great on that field, you got to have a why. You got to have a reason for why you do what you do. The reason why you don't give 120% every doggone time you get on the field because you ain't got a why for what you do. You ain't got a why. Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. It's not easy. If it was easy, there'd be no Kerry Washington. If it was easy, there'd be no Taraji Henson. P. Henson. <laughs> if it were easy, there'd be no Octavia Spencer. But not only that, if it were easy, there'd be no Viola Davis. If it were easy, there'd be no Michael T. Williamson, no Stephen McKinley Henderson, no Russell Hornsby. If it were easy, there'd be no Denzel Washington. So. You all have stuff at your fingertips that can make you great. But if you could combine your technology with your parents, and your grandparents work ethic, you could be rich, man. But you cannot erase the work ethic part. There is no getting around. Ain't no elevator to the top. You got to take the stands. The elevator don't go to the top, man. Not in the world of success. You got to take the stands. Y'all got to start getting gritty, man. I hate it when I see young people wasting their time, wasting all this technology got, just bull just sitting around in this world that's been created for you, that everything is instant. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Les Brown's a motivational speaker, he made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. So... Keep working, keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. See you at work.